What is the Avoncap GP2 study? Avoncap GP2 is a study about chest infections led by researchers at the University of Bristol and funded by Pfizer. New vaccines are being developed and we want to understand how many chest infections could be prevented by vaccinations and what groups of patients might benefit the most. We cannot do this study without people like you taking part. So, who can take part? Adults who have contacted their GP with a possible chest infection or worsening of heart failure, asthma or COPD can take part. What would taking part mean? Taking part is voluntary. This means it's completely up to you. If you agree to take part, we will collect some information about you from your GP record. There are two other optional parts of the study. Taking samples from your nose, throat, saliva and urine and filling out a daily symptom diary. What are the benefits of taking part? The study will not directly benefit you, but taking part could help us to understand more about chest infections and who will benefit most from vaccinations. This could potentially benefit other patients like you in the future. Are there any risks? Taking nose and throat samples might feel a little uncomfortable and there is a small chance of causing a mild nosebleed. Will this affect my normal care or treatment? Your choice to either take part or not take part in the study will not affect your normal care or treatment in any way. Why should I take part? We want you to take part in this study so that we can understand more about chest infections, how common they are, which bugs cause the infections, which patients are at highest risk, and how many infections could be prevented by new vaccines. We will give you vouchers to reimburse you for your time. What information or data will we collect? We will collect information from your GP records about you, for example, your age, gender and ethnicity, and your illness, for example, your long-term health conditions, visits to your GP practice or hospital and treatment given. We will ask you questions like if you've ever smoked and measure how fast you are breathing, your heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen levels, temperature, height and weight. To find out which germ has caused your illness, we will take samples from your nose, throat, saliva and urine. We will also ask you to fill out a diary about your illness every day until your symptoms are gone for up to 28 days. This should take no more than five minutes a day to complete. If you have ongoing symptoms, we'd like to follow you up every few weeks for up to 12 months. What will happen to my data? Who will access it? Only a small number of authorized people can access the data, which will be stored securely on an encrypted computer using a secure password in Bristol. Your information will be stored on a database using a code number so that it's not possible to identify you. The data will be held by the University of Bristol for up to 15 years in accordance with the UK government regulations known as General Data Protection Regulation. All research using patient data must follow UK laws and rules, and it is the duty of the researchers to protect the privacy of people who are taking part. Some samples will be sent to Pfizer laboratories in the United States for testing. Others will be tested in the University of Bristol laboratories. Samples will be anonymized so that no one can identify you from the sample. Samples will be stored for up to 15 years and may be used for additional vaccine-related research, after which they will be destroyed. Any reports about the findings from this study will be written in a way that no one can identify who took part in the study. How do you get involved? We would love for you to take part in the study. To find out more, please contact the study team.